Here's a rundown of your mission. This one's perfect for a warm-up. Nice and easy. Don't let yourself get lazy, though. Stick to it, and get the job done. Survival. Costa Rica isn't alone. All of Latin America is getting swept up in the superpowers Cold War. The whole ideological split between East and West. In the end, it's just a greedy scramble for wealth by the ruling classes. The Western bourgeois stand to lose everything if their countries go communist. After all, the communists want to abolish private property altogether. So the capitalist rulers desperately tried to halt the global spread of communism. Hence the phenomenon of red-baiting. And the communists, for their part, didn't exactly stay true to their principles. They tried to escape class-based society. But between Stalin's autocracy and the rise of the nomenclatura, they ended up creating one anyway. Once people have power, they stop caring about equality. That's where communism, where society in general, reaches its limits. The rulers only care about their own gain. The opposing side becomes a risk factor that threatens the profit, and thus the ongoing struggle between capitalism and communism was born. And now, nuclear deterrence is part of the picture. Exactly. They say nuclear weapons are the reason we haven't seen conflict on a global scale since World War II. The thought that your opponent might launch nukes against you sort of makes it tough to start an armed conflict especially now that they've got intercontinental ballistic missiles. Nowhere is safe. Of course, all that has caused military expenditures to skyrocket. Well, the only way to ward off a preemptive strike is to flaunt your own nuclear stockpile. And that's caused their numbers to increase exponentially, not just with regards to destructive power, but in terms of targeting technology, too. Now they can hit a target halfway across the world with pinpoint accuracy. In a way... The space race was a demonstration of that technological progress. And as a result of all that, we now have mutually assured destruction. It's the ultimate form of deterrence. No one's going to launch their nukes knowing they'll be obliterated in return. I don't know. The chance of somebody hitting the button by mistake is never zero. You're right. Even with peace guaranteed by MAD... There's always the risk of an accident. Nobody wants the world to end on account of some machines malfunctioning. On the other hand, thanks to deterrence, we haven't had a world war since 1945. You gotta admit, it has been pretty peaceful. <laughs> Not that it matters to us. People point at the nuclear arms and space races and call it a cold war. I say if they're not shooting at each other, why not call it world peace? Doesn't mean war is gone. Look at Korea. Look at Vietnam. Well, yeah, but I'm talking in relative terms here. Besides, if war died out completely, we'd be SOL. We're not warmongers. And yet, we can't survive in a world that's at peace. Hmm. You got a point. Don't forget to give the MSF staff assignments. Where you place people will determine how Mother Base grows. Right. That goes for me, too. Assign me wherever you think is best. You? I thought you were second in command. Don't worry, I've got that covered. But MSF is still small, and I don't have the leisure of sitting around on my butt all day. Uh, I see your point, but... Not to brag or anything, but I kick ass at whatever job you gave me. Put me in the area you want to focus on developing most. I'll take real good care of the staff there. Easy, cuz. The supply staging point is at the eastern foot of Irasu. There's a rail terminal there. 
They'll probably transfer the nuke from the train onto a truck. Gotcha. I'll have to catch them while they're moving the cargo. But you might run into El Basilisco. Keep your eyes peeled, Snake. An 80-foot-tall walking behemoth. The CIA's new weapon? Mm. Could be. Too bad it's not actually a dinosaur. I think they're testing it up at the base on top of the mountain. I met a guy in Russia who described it as a metal gear linking infantry and artillery. Metal gear? Mm. I've got a bad feeling about this. Like maybe it's connected to everything that's happening here somehow. The nukes? You don't think... What else could it be? If it is up there, I'll just have to improvise. Either way, I won't know until I get there. Watch your back, Snake. This is Miller, hearing you loud and clear. You know you can assign the radio to the select button by choosing options from the menu window. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Stuck you, huh? I wonder where they could be. This is Miller, hearing you loud and clear. Document, huh? I wonder where they could be. One of the soldiers may know the location of the target. Go interrogate him. To interrogate someone, grab them with CQC and press the action button. Press the attack button near the enemy to initiate close quarters combat. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. The enemy's close.
According to Chico, the nuclear materials will be loaded from a train and onto a truck at a rail terminal near the eastern foot of Irazu. If we can't cut him off at that terminal, we'll be in a world of hurt. Hurry, Snake. The CIA has taken control of this coffee factory too, all to produce its drugs. It was famous once for its fine beans. Mm, Cafetal Aroma Encantado. Enchanting aroma, huh? See, si. once we have thrown the mercenaries out of Costa Rica, I know it will make wonderful coffee again. And then you must come and try some snake. Sounds great. I wouldn't mind a cup of joe after all this is over. Oh, wait. What is wrong? No, I just remembered this guy I knew who wasn't big on coffee. English. Get rid of that muddy water and get a cup of black tea down your gob, he'd say. <laughs> that is too bad for him. It is delicious. As I said before, building railroads in Costa Rica was a dangerous job. A lot of men died, and sometimes they stopped work altogether. This is one of those places. They had to cut through steep terrain, so when they finally made it through, they just built the rail terminal right there. And that is why they named it... El Cadalzo. The Gallows. Charming. I'm surprised the construction money didn't dry up the way things were going. Actually, it did. But the bananas helped complete it, so they say. You mean... the energy the workers got from eating bananas? Oh, I suppose they do have plenty of vitamins and... <laughs> no, no, no. I meant the money they got to finish it came from exporting bananas. Oh. But one thing is for certain. The owners of the railroads expanded into the banana trade after construction was completed. That was the start of banana cultivation in Costa Rica. Amanda, do you know the way to the rail terminal? Remember the locomotive? By the fork in the road before the village? Yeah, back in the jungle. Follow the train tracks from there, and you'll come to the terminal. But there's a plant along the way. Disguised as a coffee factory? Yes. It is their drug refining plant. La Cia controls it now. Cutting through there is the shortest way, but it'll be crawling with soldiers. If you want to go around... No, forget it. If that's the shortest way, that's the way I'll take. Besides, it's one of their bases. It'll be good intel. Very good. A number of guards at the plant are positioned on high walkways. Be sure to study their movements before you advance. Or I could just snipe them first. The plant's layout is another maze, I'm afraid. Stay cool. Make your way out of the plant and you'll arrive at the terminal. You know a lot about this place. What are you saying? I've been there before, when the KGB ran it, yes. But it is not as if I enjoyed it. No, I just meant you know a lot about how the enemy works. I hope so. Anyway... Did you talk to Chico about the terminal? He said it's where they transfer the cargo onto trucks. Meaning the facility is of considerable importance to them. Don't get careless. I won't. By the way, I've heard of a shortcut that cuts straight to the coffee factory, to the east of the village. But I've never used it myself. Check it out if you're interested. Thanks for the tip. Since it was founded, my country has not once been able to choose its own path. First Spain, then America. Over 100 years of this. I know. In the 19th century, an American mercenary named William Walker seized power in Nicaragua. I'd heard he exploited rivalries between the political parties. Even after we expelled him, the Americans sent in their Marines under the pretext of quelling political unrest. And the real reason? To intimidate the government and thwart the construction of the Nicaragua Canal. I thought the U.S. already has the rights to build a canal in Nicaragua. They never intended to build a canal there. They'd already started digging in Panama. A canal in Nicaragua would break up the Panama Canal's monopoly. Reason enough for America to stick its nose into our affairs. They snagged the rights so nobody else could build there. It was General Sandino 
who finally stood up to Los Yankees. General Sandino waged a guerrilla war against the Marines, at last driving them out. He was a true hero, and to us Sandinistas, like a father. But when they pulled out, the Americans left us something to remember them by. The National Guard. Yes, La Guardia. In name, a peacekeeping force. But in reality, Commander Somoza's personal army, answering to no one else. Unable to stay silent, General Sandino went to protest and was assassinated by Somoza as he made his way home. It was then that Somoza and Los Sapos began to eat our country alive from the inside. It has been 40 years since the Somoza family became the rulers of Nicaragua. With La Guardia at their command, no one can challenge them. You came here on the run from the National Guard, right? See, si. they took everything. Our land, our homes, our jobs. Now belong to Somoza. See, si. the law too. He's even got the judges in his pocket. You defy him, you face death. Everyone bows and scrapes before La Guardia. Even then you might get a beating if they are in a bad mood. And you're trying to change things. That's not all. These Samosas have used their power to line their pockets. They confiscate people's land and hand it to members of the Samosa family. By now, close to half the farmland in Nicaragua is theirs. We were powerless. Until... You remember the earthquake two years ago? Yeah. I heard the capital was hit pretty hard. We lost Managua, our capital city. People sent aid from all around the world. Tears of sorrow turned to tears of joy. Yet almost all of it was embezzled by the Semosas. They sold out those who'd lost everything for money. They feasted on our country's suffering. Public resentment is at the boiling point. The Somoza's days are numbered. We will see to it. The train terminal is on the other side of the coffee factory. Head for the factory first. Start talking. To get to the coffee factory, you'll first need to backtrack to the fork in the road. Start talking. Start talking. What was that? Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Huh. We're under attack! Quick, hide! The train terminal is on the other side of the coffee factory. Head for the factory first. To get to the Start coffee talking. factory, you'll first need to backtrack to the fork in the road. Start talking. Start talking. Fulton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. Start talking. Start talking. Start talking. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. Huh? We'll 
keep it here at the base. Bolton recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. There's a coffee factory to the northeast. Beyond that is a train terminal. that noise. through the coffee factory to reach the train terminal.
Start talking. Uh. Start talking. Uh. Start talking. Uh. 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 Freeze. Uh. Looks like we're just in time. Neutralize all enemies and secure the train. Check out the cargo. 